If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Hey, a lot of big happenings in Childerberg since last time we talked. Absolutely. We've had some big crowds uh, last Wednesday at the, uh, the new facility for Lakeside Stone. We had the ribbon cutting, had a great crowd on hand for that. Uh, yesterday at Renaissance Bank downtown, it was a combination chamber coffee, uh, uh, an appreciation uh, ceremony for our first responders, and we had a lot of our elected officials uh, in honor of the first stop by uh, in the area for Senator-elect, he doesn't have any opposition in November, Dan Roberts for our uh, state Senate seat. So had a big crowd on hand for that. And in the meantime, City Hall has been hopping. Besides the normal traffic from City Hall and the, the county probate office there, Jax has been holding court and they're going to continue this week and next from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. each day taking applications for the new Jack's Restaurant. They're hoping to get open about October 22nd. That building's and going up, isn't it? Absolutely it is. They're putting finishing touches on it even as we speak. And they've had a lot of younger folks, and they don't have a problem with hiring younger folks, but they're looking right now more so for some uh, what they describe as responsible adults. Mm -hmm. So some good-paying jobs are going to be available there at Jack's. And you have to stop by because they're still working on the building. Uh, you need to stop by City Hall. They've had somebody there uh, every day of late, and they're doing it uh, yesterday through this week and again next week. How did the first weekend of travel for college football go through Childersburg? Actually, it went pretty well. Uh, you know, there are still people who insist on going way too fast, uh, entering and exiting the construction zone, and that can make things a little bit more difficult uh, for the people who are trying to cross over, but for those who are trying to join or get off of Highway 280, just be patient and wait your turn. It's coming. And uh, slow down, give yourself a little extra time, but all in all, it went went fairly well. Now, Fantastic. I will tell you, those tickets are pretty doggone expensive. <laughs> It gets your attention, won't it? They will. Uh, I had two this morning as I was coming this direction. So State Trooper uh, got one and the city of Childersburg got another one. So, you know, it's part of the process. If you don't slow down, you're going to get hit. Uh, Chase Smith, you, you, you knew Chase and yes, you, you, you knew, know his dad. And uh, I, I want to, and I mentioned this to uh, the city of Childersburg and to the police department and uh, EMTs and fire and, uh, fire and rescue. What a fantastic job they did in uh, honoring Chase. Uh, left us way too early at the age of 24. Absolutely. Uh, a, a wonderful young man who, uh, in 24 years, made a pretty strong impact on, mm -hmm. on folks around here. And there are going to be a lot of thoughts and prayers uh, uh, for him, about him, and a lot of fine remembrances of him. And I'm glad to see that a lot of folks who knew and loved him are stepping up to make sure that memory stays alive with various and sundry events and things to help uh, support the family during Absolutely. their tough time. Where were you 9-11, 17 years ago? I was in uh, uh, Omega Communications in downtown Moultrie, Georgia, watching it all unfold on television. And I was just absolutely stunned. Uh, I, you know, there's no describing uh, the feeling that comes over you when things like that happen. Uh, you wonder if World War III is coming about, and in a sense it did. It's just stretching out for a while, but um, there were a lot of fine people uh, who died in those attacks. There were a lot of people who were injured, and it's, uh, it's something that I think highlights the role of our first responders. Gives you a fresh respect for them, doesn't it? Absolutely, because those guys were, those are not the kind of things we expect our firefighters, our police officers, and our EMTs to have to deal with. That's something that just comes off the wall. Uh, and I'm glad that our uh, national security is such that we can 
keep a handle and prevent a lot of those things before they come to fruition. It was a wake up call for all of us. Yeah. I forgot to mention, uh, is, uh, is the market still going on over there in Children's It is. We're still going strong. Uh, our, our big attraction, Pete Baker, had to take some time off. His uh, gap between his summer market and his fall market was pretty big, but he told me this past Monday that he'll be back in another is week or two. Is he the pumpkin two. person? Well, he's got pumpkins. Chris uh -huh. is having, uh, having his share of pumpkins, and we've got others that uh, participate in that. But the game plan right now and talking with the farmers, they should be able to sustain this. There's a new set of crops coming in behind them, especially those very popular greens of all types, but uh, we'll make it through Thanksgiving. All right. What else is going on in Children's Burn? Well, uh, the, the Jack's applications is a big one. Uh, this week and next, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at City Hall, you can pick up your application and get a quick interview. The Kiwanis Club, which supports a lot of fantastic things for the youth of our uh, South Talladega County area and especially Kiwanis Park in Childersburg. We're holding the fourth annual clay shoot at Selwood Farms and that's always a, a big deal. Also, uh, October is uh, another big festival month, trying to rival April in the area. <laughs> We've got the Fall Family Festival in Oak Grove. That's coming up October 13th. You can pick up your uh, vendor forms at Town Hall there in Oak Grove. And then the Pumpkin Festival at the Limbaugh Community Center in Childersburg is the place to go for the event on October 20th, but also to get your vendor forms uh, filled out. Uh, for that one on October the 20th. So a lot of fun things. What What's uh, the designation by the mayor there about Family Week? When is that? Well, that's coming up the 19th through the 23rd, I believe it is. And that's uh, so, so important because our faith and our family unit are very much under attack in the modern world. And we have to... Uh, do some due diligence and go that extra mile to make sure that we have, uh, uh, even if the parents never get married or don't stay married, that doesn't mean that they can't work together and co-parent young children because, the, especially the men, because a lack of male role models is uh, right up there with food insecurity is making these kids vulnerable and having been a teacher at an alternative high school for past risk students, those were two things that were very, very common. These kids never knew where their next meal was coming from and very, very, very few of them had an active father in their role, so uh, in their life. So uh, that male role model is something that's very, very important. Once again, jobs are available, uh, application interviews being done for Jax. Where's that going to be and how long is it going to be for? It's going to be this week and next week. Uh, they didn't anticipate adding this week and next week, but they're just wanting to make sure they get their full complement. I think they're going to go around 60, 65 people total. And uh, that'll be this week and next week, 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. every day at City Hall. All right, Tom, thanks for being with us this morning. Enjoy it. Tom Roberts, always a fixture with us on Wednesday mornings. More Daybreak after this.